I was say like a lot weeks of silly before. things. I don't mean. <laughs> that seems like a pretty good sign. And then <laughs> yeah. it's like. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today we have some fun things you may have seen on the main channel's video earlier in the week. We got our new countertops in our kitchen. It looks so, so pretty. And we mentioned that they actually had like leftover from the slabs that we bought. And so they were able to fabricate new counters for our bathroom. I'll turn you guys around and show you like more of an up close of those. But one of the things that we need to tackle today is actually getting new faucets put on our counters. We decided since we're already, you know, kind of changing up things in our bathroom, we recently painted these. We got the new counters, new sinks, things like that. We would go ahead and change out the faucets as well. And you see that? that don't was, do that over the counter. I know, I know. That's such a bad idea. Ding. I know. I was doing a backflip with the screwdriver. <laughs> Um, but we, anyway, we decided to go ahead and change out the faucets. So we actually did not get these faucets for our bathroom. These are the faucets that are planning to go on Luke and Noah's. We stole. Just think of it. We were like, well, stole we ordered, ourselves. yeah, basically we ordered like some for Liam's bathroom and then Luke and Noah's will do that sometime later in the month probably. But we like didn't get any for this faucet. So we decided we'll go ahead and just borrow these ones and then we'll get other ones to replace them. But they're not like too crazy. They're 50 something dollars from Amazon and they seem good quality. But the price of them, they seem really good quality. Yeah. Definitely happy with them so far. Yeah, and I love that they're like very modern looking, very sleek, kind of like a timeless classic look, which is perfect when you're putting in like fixtures in your home and you don't want to change that out all the time. So anyway, we have these faucets to put in to mine and Kyle's sink. And then we also need to put in the faucet, the one that we previously had put in already, up in the theater room bathroom. And then any minute, the appliance guy should be coming to put in our new ovens and microwave. New microwave, yes. thank goodness. And then that's it for appliances, right? Like then we're that's good. That's it, then we're good, yeah. Yeah, because we got- That's all that's left, we put in the cooktop. Yeah, we got ovens. the new induction cooktop. We have cooked one meal on it so far and we really liked it. And then, <laughs> <laughs> oh my right. gosh, we didn't have to pre-cook, yeah. like preheat our water. Was awesome. It was amazing. It boiled it in like three minutes. We got our dishwasher when we first moved in because that was mm -hmm. all rusted out. We found our fridge on Facebook Marketplace. Ever since moving in, basically we won't have any of the same appliances. So super excited for that. It'll kind of like finish up the hard stuff on the kitchen and then we'll have like painting, backsplash, all that kind of stuff, which we would love your guys' opinions on it. So give us yeah. all your painting opinions and thoughts and ideas and backsplash because the only thing we really know is we're gonna do beadboard on the island and we're gonna paint the island evergreen fog, which is what we have like in our buildings. Other than that, we have no idea now. I'm still thinking white for the cabinets. Yeah, we're still kind of thinking white. I almost wonder if it would look good to do like a taupe or something. A taupe? I just think that would blend in with these. I don't know. I don't know. Here. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I don't know why I ever give opinions here because we always go with yours, which is great because it always turns out. I'm like, yeah, good thing we didn't go with what I said. <laughs> okay, good. I was like, yeah. oh, you like don't feel like you have a say well, in this? No, no it's, not, it's not that. It's, I'm always happy we didn't go with what I said because <laughs> Like it, I'm always like, yep, yeah, you were right. Go. Oh. 
We got that quartzite in there. That was so exciting. They had just extra of these. So this one only have one hole because that is like the waterfall faucet. Maybe this one won't spray all the way so out. Be, so we're going from this look with the plate. Right. Just the thing. Because we had the plate to cover the two old holes. The old two holes, yeah. This is the kid's favorite faucet. This is the every, water everyone's faucet. favorite faucet. We do have a few spots of like touch up paint we'll have to do here. I bet you this uh, vanity doesn't need any because they didn't take off like stone for this, but our vanity does need some. And then we'll just do like a few little touch up spots over here, but with that backsplash, we don't need to do anything there. Wait, does this look There's great? There's the drain. Does this look great with this faucet or what? Yeah. Do you want to go ahead and set, uh, set this one actually up so we can see like how the water falls with it? Sure. Plants are doing good. This one's like growing so nicely. It's looking really good. That plant's such a nice boy. <laughs> such a good boy. Such a nice boy. Not a thing that grandmas say about their grandsons. Probably. Such a nice boy. That's what I'll say about my grandsons one day. I don't want to spit it. Oh no. Is it on the ah. drain? That part that they have all this wonky stuff. All this wonky stuff. I just want to show you guys the bathroom that we did, Liam's bathroom. We worked on that over the last couple of vlogs. But we finished it and I love it. In case you haven't seen the makeover on the other channel. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. So this paint color is Benjamin Moore Normandy. It's like a really pretty slate blue color. I added this rug in here to, you can see like the blue to kind of tie that in. And then here, it's being enjoyed now, but um, here we kept the same vanity and uh, whatever this is, countertop but these are the same faucets that we added in our bathroom, except our faucet holes, we were able to space them out further. So these we were obviously just using the ones that they had already drilled, but instead of like a towel rod, we did towel hooks right here for the hand towel. And then also for the bath towels, we, oh yeah, we added these shelves. How pretty is that? I love it. I love that plant, it's a spider plant. And this, I actually don't fully remember what this one was, but it looks really cool. And here, we just changed out the fixtures. We do still need to either get new ones of those, but Kyle said the drain may or may not be tricky. If not, then we'll just paint it to match. Um, and then we put the plant and things like that. We added these mirrors, like the double mirrors, instead of the single builder mirror, and then we changed out the light fixture up there, and we did lime wash. I love how the lime wash turned out. It is so, so pretty. Of course, there's like splatters in the mirror already, but so pretty, I love the lime wash. And then this is one of my favorite parts, the beadboard. How cool is that? And then up here, I just added in some pictures that Liam picked these two. He loved those ones. He thought they were so pretty, so cool, I should say. And then I added this one in, just some affirmations for him. But I love, love, love this bathroom so much. And you guys know we also took off this door. We are definitely not putting that door on. We just love how this is like so much more open now. So we'll probably end up like taking 
will definitely end up like filling these holes and repainting in here and probably end up like taking out some of this trim and just like re-trimming it out to be like an, a door, like a walkway versus being a door, a doorway. This bathroom turned out so good. Yeah. Oh, and we painted the cabinets, of course. Yeah. I am interested. So our coffee table downstairs is very dark and it's actually getting quite a lot of scratches now. Uh, a bunch of boys and just regular real life living. And so I'm kind of interested in basically trying lime wash on it. I have to do more research on it to see, and I'd probably have to put, I'm sure I would have to put like a, a protective sealer coat on it. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. It's really cool. Like you just see all the different dimension of it. It almost could look, especially if you use like a gray like this, it almost can look just like cement, like a concrete one, I mean. I think it would look really cool, but I'm not 100% on it, so give me your thoughts. Just got a text. Are they here? They are here. Okay. Let's go get some new appliances. Sun is coming up, are you ready to go? We can take a ride, we can take it slow. Your will is my law, I'ma let you be the boss, cause I'm going you. So stinky. Preheating it what? To like so burn 350. off? 350. Yeah, to burn off all the stuff from manufacturing. Chemical and stuff. And then it sits there for an hour and 15 minutes and then let it cool off and then wipe it down with a wet cloth and then you're good. Wow. It looks so nice though. This is what Kyle was saying about like why we want to paint after appliances because it doesn't quite like cover. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the old paint area. But then we need to wipe it down. They put it in and they didn't have anything to clean it. But. Right. So we'll e cloth that bad boy. Oops. Oh, oh. What'd you do? Tried to wipe it? <laughs> oh no. I'm cooling down. Okay, well let me wipe this Just since wipe I that. turned it off and then. There we go. He said 350. Yeah, so. <laughs> Oops. So upper oven, bake, 350, 350, start. Lower oven, bake, 350, start. Timer, 115, start. Okay. Okay. Press timer to start. Press timer. Oh, start. Okay. We're back to where we were. That thing rings. Yeah. One of the upcoming days, I'm actually going out of town tomorrow, but when I get back, we'll actually go look for backsplashes. So hopefully we can figure out exactly what we want to do with that. We're gonna be doing backsplashes after we get paint, but that will happen like really quickly. So we're gonna have to go backsplash shopping. I'm not even gonna bother cleaning this mess because <laughs> we'll get the other microwave delivered, I don't know, sometime soon. I think that's what we'll probably do later on in this vlog. It'll just be a few days from now that we'll go do that, but we'll look for backsplash tiles and I'm so excited for that. I'm so excited for all of it. And anywhere it's so found, we are kings of the world. Alright, 
so it has been several days like a week or something since we picked up the camera and i just got back from montana we were actually planning to take you guys backsplash shopping today because as you guys know our kitchen counters are all in however instead we are going to share that next week because we have a little surprise <laughs> we got a little like baby felix <laughs> <laughs> so the last thing we needed was another cat. I know. We were not planning it at all, but my brother's cat, which is the mom to Benji and Felix, told me when I was up in Montana, like, we have kittens. And so I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. We'll come look, but we're not getting a kitten. And then how could you say no? So this is Benji and Felix's brother. Yeah. Same and, parents, right? Yeah. They think that it's the same dad and everything. It's definitely the same mom, but like the litter was the same exact as Benji and Felix. Like there was, I think they had one orange and then they had some calico and some black ones with the little up, like, bow tie. So we have named him Oliver and we call him Ollie for short. Gosh, he's he so is tiny. so tiny. He's just a little guy. <laughs> so now he's probably like almost nine weeks old but he was like just over eight weeks when we got him. We've had him for a few days already and he's been doing good. We'll insert some clips of him with the other cats. They were not fans Felix at first. Felix is not a fan. Well, they're getting better, but Felix really is yeah. not a fan. Felix was the worst of all of them. We thought he would be the most chill. No, he's but no. not. Benji has been the best, you which we thought him? he would be the worst. What are you doing, buddy? Oh. He's like a little monkey. Oops. Be careful up there. He's like a little monkey. He just like holds on. <laughs> I don't know what to do. What do I do? Grab oh my gosh. He's trying to run. <laughs> Oliver. He's like, I just wanted to go down. Oh my gosh. I'll show you guys. It's so cute. He is so tiny that he has to climb into the water dish to drink. Get in there. <laughs> oh, that one needs to be filled. So I'll go to the other one. So cute. Anyway, so that's our big exciting news is we got another cat. Yeah. I was surprised that Kyle said yes, but. I have mixed feelings on it. I am happy. <laughs> it's also, it's a lot of cats. <laughs> okay, but a few weeks ago, before we even knew that they had kittens or anything, um, we were sitting and Felix was snuggling because he always is a snuggler. If we're not busy doing stuff, he just loves it. He just sits and like lays with you all day. Kyle was like, you know, if we could get another Felix cat, I would get another one easy. Well, I say a lot of dumb things though. In my defense, it I was say like a lot of silly before. things. I don't mean. <laughs> so it was like a pretty good sign. And then <laughs> yeah. it's like, oh, guess what? We have kittens. Oh, it looks just like Felix. Same parents. They said that he was like the calmest, snuggliest one of all of the kittens. And I totally felt that when I went to their house because I like tried to hold a bunch of them and that they were just like running around and Oliver ended up just coming up and he like kept falling asleep on my chest and like snuggling so, so sweet. He likes to play with Benji and Benji's like, I'm not a kitten anymore. <laughs> He's not about <laughs> it. <laughs> okay, so anyway, that is our big exciting news. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> but we were actually planning to work on some house projects today and we're just realizing like we are not quite prepared for them. So we're gonna take the day, figure out all the details of this, and then we'll work on that tomorrow. So what we are doing is actually preparing for the beadboard around the island. Yep. And this is just like a leftover piece from upstairs in Liam's bathroom. So Kyle was looking around. Well, do you wanna tell him like what you kind of found? You can just put this beadboard and then put little corners on it, and it looks fine, but I think... It's I'm, just like little skinny corners. Yeah, it's just a little skinny border, which actually looks fine. I think it looks more high-end or maybe more custom if you use thicker trim. And the other thing about that is we feel like with if we put this big trim, basically we would like box it around it. Yeah. It's just going to be a lot more secure with a bunch of boys around the house. <laughs> yeah, so we put the beadboard on, and then this, this would basically frame it out. And then mm -hmm. if you want to, we could put... A couple leave in, in the center, kind of like wainscoting. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah. One problem we're going to run into, though, is we have these round corners. We were going to leave the baseboard on. It's actually like driving me nuts all over the house. Yeah, I actually don't really like them anyway. So what we'll probably end up doing is taking the baseboards off and then putting a thick, maybe a five and a half or six inch piece, just flat piece along the bottom. Yeah. And then we'll put the beadboard on top of that. 
Or I guess we'll put the beat board and then that on, probably. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I guess you have to. Yeah, you put the beat board on put first. Put the beat board on first, the thick bottom edge, and then this would trim out the rest of it. And then this, this will all end up getting painted the same right. color as the built-ins, yeah. the evergreen fog color. And even the baseboard on the bottom will be the same. So it'll all just be very seamless. I think it'll look nice. It'll look more finished. Yeah, and it'll be more indestructible. Oh, uh, yeah. We're also going to be putting beadboard like on the edges of the cabinets. So obviously it'll get cut down, but like we'll end up having it like that on the edge of the cabinets. That looks nice. And then, and then it'll go we'll do the same thing over here. here. Yeah, that's too just much. On the edge. Yeah, I don't think it'll be too much. I think it'll actually do good to kind of like tie in even the the island and the outers because the outers we're thinking maybe we'll just paint them white. And actually, that would be good to sh like see the white on this, and yeah. you can kind of see what it's gonna look like. But then we'll have beadboard wrapped beadboard all here. around, and that'll be green. And then we'll have the beadboard just in the on the outside. Yeah. And another reason that we wanted to do beadboard too is like all of this you know mess up area we have some down there we have some over here and so it will just like clean all of that up cover all that up yeah obviously cut it to size but that's Oops. about how it'll look something like that i think it looks really nice no, yeah. it'll just be like very subtle you won't probably even notice it too much yeah but it'll just almost make it more custom looking which it will be custom, I guess. It'll be it'll we'll make more it high custom. end for sure. Yeah. Which would be nice. Yeah, more custom. Just a little bit more finished. Yeah. So we've kind of gone back and forth on like what color to paint our cabinets. And now I'm like, you know, we should just bring the beadboard out because it's already painted white. Like that's just how it comes. Do you want to just like hold it up? Could you hold it up like over there? You mean like in, in front of the cabinets? Yeah. Just so I can see sure. like the white against. And then we're going to do. A different backsplash so we can kind of, I don't know, change the look oh. a little bit. I could even just set it down because that would look like a look. Yeah. I'd like to do something a little lighter that would make the I actually countertops. Like it, like the white. I want to make the countertops. Yeah. And make the countertops in and out. Yeah. I think I actually like it. I like it too. Yeah. We didn't want to make it like too white or too bright and like washed out in here. Not but right I feel here. like it's actually going to make the countertop stand out a little more. White it is for sure. I love it. Yeah. I mean, that's kind And it's of just like very clean. And this is obviously like stark white. I mean, it won't be just stark white. So the walls have a little color in them. Mm -hmm. The counters will have color in them. And the island is going to be green. Right. So when you stand back here and you look, it's not just, you're not just being flooded with white. Right. Yeah, and then also, I don't know if you can tell, so like right, yeah you can. So these are like more yellow warmer lights and it looks a lot warmer on the island. And over here, like this looks way more gray almost. Um, and on camera it looks even more gray, but like because you don't have that yellow light coming down on it, the warm light. But Kyle's going to, pretty soon, probably in the next Before couple the months, we're going to put under cabinet lighting. It's actually already wired or something, like there's a plug, I think, up top. Mm -hmm. And then that switch basically goes to nothing, so I think that's what it must have been for. So we'll just have to set the under cabinet lighting up, and that will make it warmer too, so. It took me forever. It took me probably a year to figure out what this switch is for. Yeah. There's a, yeah, there's a plug-in up top. Mm -hmm. So that you can have lights. I almost feel like we had a dead switch in Utah. I wonder if that's what it was too. I never did find that. We lived there three and a half years. <laughs> this, that's what this one does. And there's another one over there for those cabinets. Yeah. I think we have just right now decided on white for the <laughs> outer like cabinet. Right literally just minutes ago. <laughs> just in. I like it. Um, but let me know like your favorite white paint colors and I will Pinterest them all, look them all up and we can pick you know, some different ones to look at. But yeah, I think we are gonna go with that. Can you tell like how yellow that is compared to that white? Oh yeah. Like, I feel like the cabinet the cabinets always look white. They're sting like dingy yellow. Yeah. Like dirty yellow. They yeah. look very yellow in person. Yeah. You can kinda tell there. That'd be good. But yeah, that's gonna look so nice, like really bright and fresh. And then it'll definitely be broken up with the green. So now Kyle and I are going to run to Probably Home Depot. For that. Yeah, that's where we got this other stuff from. Yeah, so we'll run to Home Depot and get some things for that. Um, and then we're actually gonna come home and literally just like maybe cut some pieces and like test fit and just kind of see if we can figure out 
how we're gonna do this all so that tomorrow when we actually get into it, we'll know kind of more what we're doing. And we'll and go there. from there. We'll theoretically <laughs> I'm sure know. we'll have a lot of hiccups. Yeah, this is like right. the first hiccup is, oh yeah, we don't know what to do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we are going to be heading to Home Depot now, get all of this island situation and beadboard sorted out and figured out. But if you wanna see that video, that will be up on Monday over on the other channel. So definitely check that out. It'll just be like a house projects video. We'll be doing that and you know, a bunch of other things we decided to take on <laughs> tomorrow apparently. But um, anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So they gave us the stamp on this piece because there's like a big, you know, notch kind of torn out of it. We can totally, you know, go around that piece, but we got it for 70% 70 70 off. So this entire sheet's like eight bucks, eight dollars or something. Yeah. yeah. And then I think we'll end up, we are going to have to buy or get like one other sheet. And then we have a little bit left over from the bathroom upstairs, but like 30 bucks we'll there get we all the b-board we need